Hello and welcome back. I'm Birdie Bot. Let's play some more Stone Hearth Alpha 21. So we're still building our inn and tavern. <laughs> you know what I realized off camera? I forgot to put the windows in. Ugh. But you know what? Sometimes that's gonna happen. <laughs> it's just gonna be a very airless, hot tavern. People are gonna be steaming up the place. So while that's going on, let's double check all of our workshops. She is struggling, but we are collecting some more, so she'll be able to catch up on our stuff. We've got some food. Let's double check, 60, that's not good enough. Now we did get a, I think one of our fellows brought a new animal companion, although I'm not spotting it. I know we had the raccoon, but I don't see the other one. I don't know where he is. Could have, could still be in the direction that he arrived from. Mmm, nom nom nom, rabbit. Well, maybe we'll spot him in the future. In any case, I'm gonna speed these fellows up, see if they can complete this, and then we can start putting beds inside. It's gonna be awesome. Now, while they're building, I just spotted that the potter is helping with the building process. Let's just take a look. She is out of clay, which is not good. So I'm just gonna quickly pause it for a moment and let's talk quarries. So I've decided that I'm actually gonna pop the quarry right here, which seems like a weird thing to do. What I'm gonna do is actually build underneath because if you go one or two slices down, we'll be building into this area for our quarry. Just kind of like tracking around. That way we don't disturb the land on top. So, what I'll do is I will designate these fellows to start digging right here. We'll put a nice little cap there and then later in the future, we'll probably be putting our mason's workshop and our potter's workshop. You know, actually, now that I think about it, if we put the potters on one side and the mason on the other of the tunnel, then all of our resources get sprayed out like that. So let's just take rid of, get rid of that rock, yeah? I wonder if anyone's gonna do it while they're busy. We might have to pause that building to make it happen. Let me just speed it up a little bit and see. Hmm. This is looking good. I mean, considering the fact that there's not a lot of windows. I figured this top at least will have some ventilation. Our weaver is also paused. What are you doing, girlfriend? Can't craft not enough bundles. Well, shucks. Looks like we need a lot of things, but I'll let these guys complete what's currently going on for them before continuing. Okay, the builders are finally ready to take a look at this quarry here. I'm just gonna clear this stuff out of the way since they're here anyways. <laughs> Trap them on there. Take these down and the final level. Perfect. Now, we're gonna just pause for a moment so we'll perfectly center, let's see. I'm gonna just drag this and count. So that's 40, so 20 is gonna be the center. Uh, the digging tool is a four by four, so let's do right here. I'm just gonna double check that measurement. 18, 19, 20, hmm. Does that mean on this side? It'll be 24, so it's just, the only problem is the digging tool is snapping. <sighs> so it's not gonna be perfectly centered unless I used the individual mining blocks, which actually is gonna be a pain in the long term. So one side's gonna be slightly longer than the other. I might make that longer side on this side. So it'll be closer to our main area. That means this building is gonna to have to be a little tight. I actually designed a building while I was off camera. Uh, Potter's house and storage. I wonder if it would fit in that spot. Let me just flip it around. Probably will fit perfectly in this spot, but yeah, not quite. It's not perfect. But this one will have to be a kind of a skinnier building if we wanna make sure that this staircase is usable. Either that, or we place it so that it allows for passage over top. That's possible. But that might be where the potter ends up. Okay, 
So I'm going to let those guys do that. And actually, it's great that they are dealing with a little bit of our stockpile issue. And look what we got here. About a million clay lamps. That's great. Yeah, they're, they're going to be really pleased to be eating in beds. I had a thought about these wild amber plants. I don't know if I'm going to use them per se, but I might stack them along here just to give like some ambient lighting. Now, they're beginning to dig. I'm going to just quickly pause for a moment. Slice down. It's nice that it remembers what slice you were working on. And we're going to dig a nice big... Blop, like that. <laughs> it's not even symmetrical, but that's okay. These guys are now... What do they think they're doing? Oh, they're excited about building again. Okay. They'll probably go back and forth from these two tasks as that... The uh, potter has more clay, but we really only got two, so we're not looking so hot. Is that our creature? No. <laughs> Spotted a squirrel in the distance. Squirrel. Yeah, these are beautiful. Totally dig them. My goodness. Okay. So what exactly are they building? <laughs> Look how many ladders there are. Holy crow, guys. Get it under control. Yeah, I wish I'd caught that earlier, but you know what? It's good to have some mistakes, because then you know you can always improve. <laughs> this is cool. One of the other things that I had designed uh, for a previous settlement is this clay tile decoration. Which I think has some some flair. Could be great for like a market square. I might jazz it up too. I think it's close to 20 by 20. No, no, it's a little bit longer, probably 24 by 24. But really cool for a center. So that may end up going in this area because I want to have buildings lining these slopes. Because if you've seen pictures of uh, mud house settlements they seem to have all this like stacking arrangement really cool let's see so our poor potter is back on the job poor granny yeah there she is oh but at least she can help out so these guys en might end up being trapped because i do need to place a ladder to make this top level accessible it's all a part of the design feature. And they're just going to take down some extra ladders. Yeah, awesome. I love that she used that staircase. That's cool. Love when they switch. This is a good spot, actually, for a brazier. A stone, stone brazier. That'd be sweet. Okay, let's slice. Oh, yeah, they got plenty to do. Awesome. Up top. Let's see if this guy's trapped. <laughs> I don't think so. I think there's still enough scaffolding that they can sneak down. We'll see though. Man, they're just going back and forth like a bunch of gooses. There you go, guys. And they're trapped. <laughs> okay. Well, at least I knew that was going to happen. So the f idea of where this is going to end up is like around here. So maybe I'll place it now, and hopefully that'll free them. Yep. This will be dining area on top. Ooh, a caravan. Let's just take a quick peek. I would love to get that. So let's see if we have enough to sell. I'm going to sell 10. Oh yeah, we got plenty. Plenty. So we are going to get the farmer's hoe. <sighs> Do I get a herbalist? That means, you see, I've got this stockpile here. It's not actually holding anything, but that's kind of what I'm reserving for my farms. And then I'll probably build a nice big building back here. But I'll get rid of these. And let's actually get our first guy. Sprout, you're a passionate farmer. Let's change jobs. Sir, welcome to Farmerville. He's gonna have to move this. So maybe I'll start my 
new plan of planting these flowers here. <laughs> Until I figure out what I'm actually supposed to do with them. Now, she's not doing... Oh, she's okay with that. Oh, sweet. Yeah, you do that, girl. Now, that was desperately what we needed since we are just shooting down in our edibles. Which is kind of frightening. Now, he's going to move that. Thank you, sir. Sprout. And I think what we're going to do... This might be a little tacky, but I like three by three rows. So we're gonna do, this is right on the edge, so it might be look pretty to have golden gourd, which comes with like stakes in the ground. I'm gonna give him a lot of work to do, so I might actually pause it for a moment while I do that. Let's see, lots and lots. Uh, some carrots, these are delicious for our curries. And I might leave some room right at the edge here. Uh, wait, hold on. I just did carrots, so actually I want to do watermelon. Which, surprisingly, they, they don't like to eat raw. I think that might be a bug. And maybe just one more section, which we'll do... Hmm. They don't really like golden gourd. Maybe we'll do... More carrots. Carrots are delicious. All right, that's plenty of work for him to do. Our wonderful weaver really helped us out there, but I think we need some more of everything, honestly. Hmm, it might be time to start doing upgraded workers' outfits, but I do wanna have some of those tapestries in supply. I'm gonna queue three for now. She does have one more decorative rock to finish. Oh, and he's decided he's gonna have lunch. All right, Sprout. How do you feel about being a farmer? He's a plant lover, he loves his job. Man, he's gonna have the best time. Our daily update, I know. <laughs> Our net worth is soaring. Soon we'll have food. And we could even harvest this here. That would be fantastic. Now, let's take a look at our progress. It's looking pretty good. I'm gonna speed it up. I think we're pretty safe to do that. <laughs> so I am really digging these fire flowers. I think I'll do a little bit more of that. This is the decorative touch of this place. Just a little bit of warmth and fire. Maybe like, uh, I think they can step across them, so I think it's safe to line them up. Oh, I wish I put windows. Oh, and they can't add windows, unfortunately. After the fact? Oh, maybe you can. I'm gonna save it before I do, though. One sec. Okay, I've successfully saved. Let's give this a shot. Hmm. We have plenty of these kinds of windows. So we're just gonna, what I really dig about this type of building is that you kind of just slap things in the old wear. Let's do one there. Maybe we'll do a little bit of red like that. Now, looking more closely, it looks like they're just floating on top. Do you notice that? So I don't think it's going to work. What? I'm, yeah, I'd, honestly, I don't think it's going to work. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to reload my save. Well, I'm really glad I saved it before I tried that because that actually crashed the game. Like I said, this is in uh, alpha build, so there's going to be moments like that. Oh yeah, here's a, here we go. Little fennec fox. Cute. And a wild one. Ooh. Yeah, I had actually searched the forums to see if there was a way that I could actually add windows after the fact. But unfortunately, it's just not the doable. I can't mine. I can tr can't even really erase pieces of a window. That, that's too bad. Like if I did it like this, it just goes crazy. In fact, that, that even made crash it a little bit because of course 
during your design phase, you're placing it and it's deleting the wall in behind, which is too bad. These guys are just gonna be really hot. Oh man, these are great. I'm digging the, the ambient lighting from that. Plus two, what's great about them is they're always on, even during the day, which is something I find kind of sad about the lamps because they're so cool. But of course they don't turn them on at night. Only turn them on at night, I mean. Maybe I'll stagger these a bit so they're not in a straight line. Okay, how close are we guys? We just need three more lamps and then we're good to go. That means we're really close. What I might do is I'm gonna give the farmer probably this room here, so he's that close. Uh, the other ones will be for workers. Awesome, guys. Are we done this building? Let me check. Oh, we're close. One more. And it's gonna be, who's gonna do the last piece? Oh, not Granny, because she just threw it on the ground. Ay ay, Granny, ay ay. When crafters realize that they've got uh, materials, they'll stop the job that they're doing because these crafting jobs are at a higher priority, it seems. So that is the final piece done by our unnamed character, I think. Yeah, her name is Deidre. Deidre, or Deidre. Okay, next step. Undeploy beds or move item. That might be how I do it. So I'm just gonna wiggle these around until I'm happy. Maybe like so. We're gonna move this one. And we're gonna assign all of these beds. There we go. Man, I love when they finish a building. It's so exciting. I get to kind of play around with it, see what it looks like. There we go. That's probably gonna be the farmer's room. I'm gonna move this one. There we go. And finally, this middle one, which I'm gonna have to kind of do some peeking into this house. There we go. Whoa! <laughs> the camera sometimes makes the jump. So I didn't put them against the wall, but I think I'm actually kind of okay with that. They do look around them when they're in a space. Oh, you know what I actually might do is place one for now in here. I realize people are gonna be running in and out of this in room. That was supposed to be for the uh, tavern keeper. Now, before I get into the nitty gritty of assigning, I'm just gonna make sure that I've got some orders for these guys. And I will go ahead and this one will be the farmer. There you are, Sprout. Uh, top floor, hmm. Who wants a nice top floor room? Maybe, maybe we'll prioritize our crafters for now. So Granny, I know you gotta go all the way up those stairs, it's not very nice of me. And Sunny, and then we'll give the rest to our workers. So, sure. Uh, this one, just gonna be missing just a couple here, just cause they're too busy doing these. Oh, did I accidentally build them? Are you deploying them? Hmm, ah, I see. I'll just have to undeploy them and then they'll sort it out themselves. <sighs> they're doing a great job here. So it's very central. I might actually get Granny to consider making a tunnel door. And I might actually push that kind of closer up. Now, if I remember correctly, I did give her some instruction to do clay, yeah, tables and chairs. I'm gonna also push those up because we're gonna be putting those on this area here. Oh, it looks kind of spooky without there we go, like that. Nice. Man, having one done, that's pretty good. Makes me feel good. In the meantime, we're collecting tons and tons of clay and we need to consider our next move. These farms aren't gonna produce a whole ton until a few nights from now. So we'll need to kind of consider that. 
Huh. Oh, look at the light from that. That looks awesome. Oh, I love that. Let's see what it looks like at night because that's really the, the big special moment. Oh, look at that color. Let's take a look. We're gonna see the, the lamps turn on. It's like an exciting part of Stonehearth. You know you're really digging a game when you're just waiting to see what it looks like. I'm gonna take a swig of water. Okay, it's gonna happen. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, that's so good. And you know what, guys? I'm going to let this episode off Woo! with Granny getting a new level in pottery. I hope you guys have our, are having an awesome day. <laughs>